Welcome everybody to uh, our Noise Aware segment at the AstroLive Partner Showcase. We're here with Alex Morgan to talk a little bit about Noise Aware. Uh, excited to hear about all their developments. And uh, with that, Alex, will I intro yourself and take it away? Awesome, thank you. Hey everybody, my name is Alex. I'm a sales rep here at Noise Aware. Um, we're a privacy safe noise monitoring solution company. I'm gonna start with a brief story on how Noise Aware kind of started. So Dave, one of the founders of Noiseware, actually owned a one-bedroom condo down here in Dallas. Um, he rented it out as a short-term rental to a couple that said they were just going to have a quiet weekend of studying before finals week, hanging out, seemed, everything seemed fine, um, didn't end up being the case. So the couple ended up actually having a 40-person party in Dave's one-bedroom condo. Um, they received upwards of 14 noise complaints, had the cops show up multiple times, all while Dave was just down the street at his own residence. Um, he was never aware of any of these issues until the guests checked out. Um, and he ultimately ended up with a cease and desist and had to sell his condo for a loss, which is essentially a renter's worst nightmare. Um, so this is when Dave came up with the idea of a privacy safe noise monitoring system. And after meeting Andrew, our other co-founder, Noiseware was born. So Noiseware is used for more than just stopping parties. Noiseware will actually help protect your property from being damaged and help avoid lengthy cleaning or needing to cancel the next reservation, ultimately saving you from losing your next day's revenue. Um, Noiseware also improves community relations by giving you and your neighbors that 100% peace of mind that the guests won't be too loud, won't be disrupting the neighbors in the, the late night hours. Um, I know a lot of communities around the country right now aren't the biggest fans of short-term rentals um, and they'll do anything they can to get them shut down or banned. And Noiseware will actually also help you fight off any noise complaints filed against you or your guests using that historical data that we do store on the platform. Um, Piggybacking off of that, disclosing Noiseware in your listing actually helps vet risky guests right off the bat, just because if someone does intend to throw a party, break any rules, have more people than allowed, they will find um, a different rental after seeing your properties equipped with noise monitoring, just so they don't have to avoid trying to, to get around that. Noiseware is a combination of sensors, software, and service used to help you remotely monitor your properties 24-7. We offer indoor and outdoor noise monitoring. Here's actually a picture of our indoor sensor. Um, it does plug into the outlet and can be screwed into the outlet. Um, I know that's a common question we get. Why can't guests just unplug in that comes offline? Um, it does screw into the outlet, and if they do start pulling on it, um, trying to unscrew it, you will receive a tamper alert letting you know. Um, generally, the indoor sensors plugged in in the family room or the main congregation area where guests are most likely to, to, to sit down, maybe bring out a Bluetooth speaker or have a few drinks, kind of where the noise would generate from. And then we also have the outdoor sensor. The outdoor sensor is battery powered, so you have a little bit more flexibility with placement. The outdoor sensor can be mounted using double-sided tape or using a wood screw through the mounting bracket on the back of the sensor. Here's a good visual of how Noiseware works. When the noise crosses the threshold, which is that dotted horizontal line you see on the graph right there, um, a noise alert will be triggered and sent to you and any other users on your account. Um, via text message, email, or push notification. So you know which guests to reach out, where the noise is coming from, whether it be inside or outside, and just so you can remind them of the quiet hours and to be, uh, to be polite to the neighbors um, during those late night hours. Um, the threshold levels do come preset for you based on property type, but they are completely customizable to fit your property type and your situation if you have really strict neighbors or anything like that. Um, we measure noise using our proprietary algorithm called the noise risk score. Essentially, this is an average of the decibel levels and the amount of time that the noise is occurring. Um, so what that means is it'll take two plus minutes of consistent sustained noise for noise to begin generating on the graph. 
And the reason behind this is we don't want to alert you every time a guest sneezes, a door slams, somebody screams because a team scores a touchdown, things like that. We only want to alert you when it's actually going to become a potential issue. So here's a breakdown of some benefits of protecting your properties with noise aware. Your property is going to be protected against noise, damage, false complaints, and more. And you'll be the first to know about a potential noise issue rather than the last, um, like Dave's situation. Ultimately, our goal is to save you and your time, you and your team, time and money while maintaining community relations. So at the end of the day, you can rest easy. Using noiseware helps mitigate property damage and shorten the duration of noise issues before they become a problem. 95% of our noise events are remotely solved within 30 minutes with the average being closer to that 15 minute time frame, So you are able to get ahead of it a lot, a lot quicker. And that is uh, pretty much all I have. Um, if you're interested in signing up, you are able to go to our website, noiseaware.com. Um, and for the premier Astro members, you can use the code Astro15 for 15% 15 off. Um, and then if you do have six or more properties by chance, we do offer different pricing under our professional plan. Um, and you can reach me directly at that email right there, the alex at noiseaware.io if you're interested in that plan. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. So I'll leave this time to uh, open it up for any questions if you guys have any. Yeah, that's awesome. And we do appreciate that Astro member discount. We'll for sure post details about that within the community. Um, we do have a question. Does Noiseware offer any automation features that you can speak to? Yeah, so we actually just recently partnered with FutureStay. Um, they are a property management software company. Um, and we're actually offering three months free of Noiseware and three months free of FutureStay once you sign up. And essentially how it would work is you would sign up with FutureStay. They would receive um, the reservation information. And when the guests do exceed that noise threshold on our platform, Future Stay will reach out to the guest on your behalf. So you wouldn't have to worry about those late night 2 a.m. text messages that a lot of people won't wake up to. Um, we kind of solved that with the auto resolve feature with Future Stay. That's really cool to where you're not having to pester the guest, you know, that it's going to still be handled professionally. So that's really nice to hear. So can you speak to how, if I'm a single property owner and I want to utilize both Future Stay and Noiseware, do I only sign up with Future Stay and then I get the devices through them or how does that work? Yeah, good question. So we do have a landing page um, that I can provide to everyone if they are interested. Um, and the way it would, would work is you would sign up with Noiseware and Future Stay. Um, and Noiseware would be the one shipping you the sensors and Future Stay would just sign you up on their platform. So we're partnered together, um, but each offering the service on, on both ends. Got it. So it's kind of like bundling where there may be a price break for utilizing both providers. Yep, exactly. Oh, that's great. Um, and I also, that was actually one of the questions I was going to ask about was some of your new partnerships. I know I saw the one about Future Stay. Congrats, by the way, that's so awesome. Um, what about Airbnb's community integration program? Is that anything that you guys are involved with? Um, as of right now, um, I can't really speak to any of that. I know it's in our pipeline right now. Um, we don't have anything active currently, um, but we will definitely keep you and uh, the community up to date on all of that. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good call. Let's see if there's any other questions that pop up here. And you just joined the team, you said, Alex, most fairly recently? Um, I've been here for about a year. Um, so decently recently, um, but yeah. yeah, about a year. Yeah, I know Noiseware has been doing a lot of expanding and a lot of amazing growth this year. So it's wonderful to have you guys as a partner. Yeah, yeah, we're excited, thank you. Well, any other questions from our audience? I assume it's pretty simple to run everything from a smartphone. 
Um, I don't know if you have any screenshots or examples of that that you can share or speak to, but that's yeah, so how a lot of hosts are managing things these days. Yep, exactly. So I don't have any uh, screenshots available right this second, but I will tell you um, we offer, so we have the NoiseAware app um, on a, your smartphone. Essentially, that's where you're going to set up the sensors. Um, you can view it on the go. Um, and then we also offer the NoiseWare dashboard. So if you like using your laptop more, you kind of get a bigger picture. Um, we do offer that um, on mobile and your laptop. Okay. That's wonderful. And another question that came up for me was there, there's kind of some similarities or, or similar um, product offerings within the marketplace. Can you speak to the differences? Because as, a, as an end homeowner or consumer, they're trying to look at what's the best solution for me, maybe what, what's different about Noiseware. Yeah, so one of the big things with Noiseware is we focus um, really solely on noise right now. Um, so the big differentiator is going to be that we do need that consistent sustained noise of two plus minutes, um, whereas some of the other noise monitoring companies will alert you when there's just a single decibel spike. Um, so we're able to only alert you when there's uh, a potential issue coming around. Um, I will say for the indoor sensors as well, um, it is a big benefit that our indoor sensors can plug directly into an outlet. Um, so you don't have to worry about um, charging them or anything. As long as they're plugged in and stay plugged in, they'll be powered on the whole time. Okay, good to know. We did have another question come in from the audience. Do, do you need only one device per home or how do you gauge how many devices you need if multiple are, are required? You said something about an outdoor device as well. Yeah, great question. That is uh, one of the questions we frequently get is, can I just have an outdoor sensor? Um, so you will need an indoor sensor at each property. The reason behind that is it kind of acts as the main hub um, and the indoor sensor connects to the Wi-Fi router and essentially sends all the data to the dashboard. Um, so you can have an indoor sensor and then you could also add an outdoor sensor. Um, I know some of the bigger properties um, require multiple outdoor sensors if they have a bigger backyard area or like a fire pit patio and pool combo. Um, so you are able to link together multiple outdoor sensors with that one indoor sensor. Okay. And if you had, as long as you can connect the sensor to your Wi-Fi, meaning your Wi-Fi signal is strong enough, it should work and, and be able to pl be plugged into an outlet, right? So if it was, um, maybe a hot tub was far off away from the property, but as long as the signal was still there, you'd, you'd still have coverage. Yeah, so essentially how it works is the outdoor sensors connectivity wise need to be mounted, I'd say about 100 feet or less um, is kind of the range we're working with. Um, so it should be able to suffice for most properties um, in the areas that you're going to need them installed. Okay, and a few more questions came in. Can you use noise aware to respond to any city fines or complaints automatically? Um, we don't have an integration where it would, uh, like alert the city or anything like that automatically. Um, that is something, um, I'm not sure if we're working on that or not, but I can definitely, um, keep all of you posted on that. Okay. And then one more, do you receive any insurance perks for having a device in your property? So I know we're partnered with some insurance companies. You would have to inquire with your particular insurance company to double check with them. Um, and then you could always reach out to our support team as well um, to check with them and see if it is um, something that we offer. I seem to remember hearing that before at one point with one or two providers. So yeah, it's definitely worth investigating. Um, yeah, you know, um, proper insurance actually offers a five to 10% discount on their, uh, on their insurance when you have noise aware installed. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's a great perk for sure. So I think we did talk a little bit, I know you're offering this fantastic discount, but can, can you speak to a little bit more about just the pricing for a typical property? Let's say you need the indoor, the outdoor and service monitoring just so people can gauge a, a rough budget of what this would cost per year? Yeah, for sure. So we offer two different solutions. The first solution is going to be our single family home solution. And what that includes is an indoor sensor, an outdoor sensor, and the first year of the monitoring subscription. 
and that costs $299. Um, and then you would have that discount if you were a premium member. Um, and then after that first year runs out, um, it renews at $99 per year after that per property. And then the other solution we offer is the apartment condo solution. And that is, it's pretty much the same. It just has an indoor sensor and the subscription piece involved. And that is $199. Okay. And once the renewal, is that the same at $99 for the apartment? Yep, exactly. $99 per year. Seems, uh, seems pretty economical for avoiding all sorts of other fun issues. So. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, I think that's about rounds out all of our questions today. Unless anyone has more, we can do a last call. But definitely very helpful to hear more about you guys, everything great that you're doing, your new partnership. And like I said, we're really excited to have that discount to provide to our Astro members. So we'll be sure to post details about that. Um, and Alex, it's been wonderful to have you join us today. Um, if you guys have questions, you've got Alex's email. I think we had alex at noiseaware.io. Yep. There we go. Awesome. And thank yeah. you again. Yep. Really appreciate thank you your time and, today. It was wonderful to have you. Thanks, everyone, for joining. All right. Cheers.